Hello, my beautiful beanies, and welcome. Jeez, that's the wrong thing. That's my News Talk ZB podcast that I do. Actually, now that I mention it, why don't you check that out on the News Talk ZB website? Anyway, back up the track. Hello, and welcome to Glen ZB TV, the show that puts Glen ZB up your periscope. It's all coming back to me now. I'm bringing uh, New Zealand to the world, and the world to New Zealand, and I've got some 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 relative time and space to talk you through here uh daylight saving time changes this weekend now the first complicated part of that is how does it change does it uh, we know it changes by an hour but does it go forward or backwards well we've got the spring forward fall back uh that that's that that's a good rhyme a good way of remembering it although we don't call it fall here in new zealand we call it autumn Spring forward, autumn back, doesn't quite have the same ring, but it still does help you remember which way to do it. Of course, the trouble arises when you work uh, on a current affairs radio station and you're talking to people all over the world, some of them on a regular basis, and you need to explain to them what our change in daylight savings is going to mean to them where they are. Will they be talking to us an hour earlier or an hour later? Now, I've been working uh, in breakfast radio for uh, about 15 years now. And I've never been able to work it out. Stephen Hawking, call me. Uh, We had John Key on the radio today on the Mike Hosking Breakfast on News Talk ZB. Uh, he's our prime minister. He's in he, he's in charge of us, and yet uh, instead of the word legislation, he pronounces it legislation. He puts a lot more uh, H's and maybe an extra S into the word legislation than I would like. Just a reminder. He's in charge of us. I'd just like to continue the cake conversation from this morning as well. Uh, this was going on air and off air. There's a lot of people around the Mike Hosking breakfast who seem to have one-year-old children. Uh, this means a one-year-old child's birthday party. Uh, quite a bit of discussion over whether you should bake the cake or buy the cake and how much you should spend on the cake should you buy the cake. Some people... Uh, have got quite carried away with this, but then some people are hosting rather a large number of people at the aforementioned first birthday party. Of course, my answer to this is to never, ever, ever have children. Uh, You would have thought I would have learned from my mistake and only had one. So I had two, and it just gave me double the reason to give you that advice. So for those of you out there, just remember, if you're considering having a child, it will lead eventually to a first birthday and cake concerns. Somebody thinks I look like Heisenberg. Is that what your suggestion is there? I have broken bad. That's definitely true. And finally, uh, it's all been very much about what I heard on the Mike Hoskin Breakfast Show this morning. Not surprising that it's a finalist in the New Zealand Radio Awards. But uh, we talked to Sarah Walker, our national BMX champion today. And every time I think about her getting back on that bike, it seems shivers down my shoulder. Because, of course, I famously uh, fell off a, a scooter. No, not a motor scooter, a push scooter. We've been through all this before anyway, dislocated my shoulder. And I haven't even uh, been able to look at a scooter ever since without feeling a bit nauseous because it takes me straight back to the emergency room and hearing screams, screams of agony of people just... Well, when I say people screaming, me lying there hearing somebody screaming in pain and then realising it was me. Um, So anyway, thank you very much for having me up your periscope. Uh, Congratulations, Sarah Walker, on getting back on the bike uh, very shortly after having a couple of metal plates put in your arm. And um, that's all we have from Goose Talk ZB 
for you today. Uh, I will see you back here again on Monday.